What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another Power Book 4 Force video. Now, this is going to be the review and recap for Power Book 4 Force Season 1, Episode 6, and this is titled, This Is Who We Are. If you're a fan of power, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on Power Book 4 Force, you get them. Now, last episode was crazy, man. We seen Tommy and Claudia, they team up, you know, to distribute Dahlia. We also seen Liliana was kidnapped by the Serbs. Murkovic wanted Tommy dead bad. And Gennard, you know, he was masked up and he drove by and he tried to take Tommy out. But he hit Liliana and luckily she survived, man, because I really love her character. Now, I'm going to give this episode a 9 out of 10. Another fire episode, man solid solid episode now in this episode when it first starts we see tommy helping claudia bury mai's body and he told her there's two rules when you're killing somebody don't get caught and their body never gets found you know tommy's been doing this for a minute he knows the rules um claudia just made her first kill so she doesn't really know how this stuff goes you know tommy has to teach her we see cbi's diamond and Gennard are at elijah's funeral and Gennard is mad as hell. He tells Diamond that they wouldn't be burying Elijah if it wasn't for Tommy. You know, he's pissed off. And Diamond said that they all mutually agreed to hit the Serbs. But Gennard just ain't seeing it that way. He does not like Tommy at all. He wants him out the way. Then we see a little gathering for Simon. You know, they're saying goodbye to Simon and stuff, the Flynn's. And Claudia notices Walter has a cough. And she's like what's up with that like why do you have that cough and of course he lies about it he says like it's bronchitis or whatever and Vic is taking this death pretty seriously man you know he was close to Simon and he's hurt we see Vic asked to be in on whatever Claudia is doing with her designer drug and she told him that you know this opportunity is not around anymore that he missed his opportunity and she also asked Vic what's up with you know Walter's cough and stuff and he said it's nothing man he always gets bronchitis around this time of year now we see Vic and the CBI meet with Tommy about everything that happened and Gennard tells Tommy that you know Tommy's bad for business and he don't want him around no more that they wanted to go separate ways but they said they would make him whole and buy the rest of his weight and he tried to raise the price and stuff you know make it a higher price and the three of them split the price and bought it now we see Tommy and Liliana counting the cash and stuff and he says that he's gonna invest all his money into this new drug Dahlia and of course she's in she's down to make some money then we see Tommy and Claudia meet up and she's worried about how they're gonna distribute this drug and Tommy says they're gonna use storage lockers at convention centers you know Tommy's coming up with some good ideas and Claudia didn't want Walter or Vic to know anything about it Tommy says something about Liliana how he wants to bring her in and Claudia is not sure and then she tells him about Reggie and I love the loyalty Tommy has for Liliana. I absolutely love it because he had her back to the fullest. He said that she's been around for a minute. You know, she knows the game. That's why they can trust her. But he wasn't sure about Reggie at all. He said Reggie has to work his way up, you know, to gain their trust. And he said anybody else after that have to go through, you know, a process. Now we see Walter's place of business getting raided. So he calls Claudia and Claudia is nowhere to be found. You know, we see these two agents, they're really pressing Walter for some information. And good thing she got there, man. She got there just in time to print out the documents that the FBI wanted. And Walter said, next time you come back, make sure you have some evidence. And Walter got on Claudia's ass about her not being there when he needed her. Pretty much saying she wants to step up, but she is not ready. Now we see Gennard and Diamond speaking and they're talking about future business. And Gennard comes up with this plan about how they can set aside a 10% tax for Murkovic. So when he comes around, you know, seeking answers for his pipeline being taken and stuff, you know, he'll have that money, that tax to pay him. That way they don't got no problem with the Serbs and they can just go on with their business. Now we see Pierogi, he finds Walter passed out and he's bleeding and stuff on the floor. His forehead's bleeding and he tries to hide everything from Pauly and Paulie's not no fool he sees what's going on and he tells Walter to tell his kids about it everybody's worried about him and he just always acts like a dick about it now we see D-Mac meet up with Gennard 
And it seemed like Gennard was going to ask D-Mac, you know, to kill Tommy, but that's not what he wanted. He just wanted him to keep an eye on him, you know, to spy on him and stuff. And D-Mac says, yo, if you do want me to kill him, it's going to be an extra five. He wants 10K, you know, to kill him. But Gennard's giving him an easy 5K to spy on Tommy. And of course, D-Mac wouldn't kill him anyways, especially when he finds out that's his uncle. Now we see Tommy get suited up. You know, he goes into this building and he drops the drugs into a storage locker. And I gotta say, man, your boy Tommy was looking fly in that suit. He should wear suits more often, you know, to take the suspicion away from him. Now we see Liliana come and meet Mrs. Soto. She had information for her about the drops and stuff. And she also approached this other dealer. And inside the package, there's a phone, a key, and instructions to pick up this Dahlia from the storage locker. Now we see the FBI pull over Pauly. They're trying to get information on Walter. And of course, he's not talking, man. You know, him and Walter go way back, so he's not saying a word. He said, I'm not gonna be the reason you take him down. Now when Walter talks to Vic, he wants Vic to spy on what Claudia's been doing. And Vic wasn't trying to hear what his father had to say. And he said, look, I'm bringing Gloria to Sunday dinner. And that's what it is. You're going to like it. And Walter said, you know, Sunday dinner has always been for family and family only. And Vic's like, man, just have a plate ready. Now we see Tommy visit JP and they talk about JP's debt and stuff. And we see D-Mac watching Tommy through the window. And now he knows that JP and Tommy know each other. So he's like, what the fuck? Like he wants nothing to do with this anymore. And JP wants to know how Tommy is helping him all the time. He wants to know exactly what Tommy does. And Tommy says, I'm a drug dealer. And JP wanted to get in on the game and Tommy shut him down. Tommy's like, no, this life ain't for you. You ain't getting nowhere near this. And JP was desperate to make his own money. But we know he's gonna get involved in the game eventually. Now we see D-Mac goes back to Gennard at the barbershop and he gives him his money back. He's like, man, I'm not doing this no more. Find somebody else for the gig. I'm not the guy. Man, we see this crazy ass dude, Reggie, blowing up Claudia's phone because she ghosted him because that's what Tommy told her to do. And you know, Tommy didn't want this guy anywhere around their deals and stuff. Now we see Tommy, Liliana, and Claudia, they go and intercept this chemist and her name's Dr. Lauren Williams too, by the way. I think I said something different in a previous video. I don't know, but her name's Lauren. And they went to go intercept her. But really, they didn't even have to do this, man. They could have just caught her up like, yeah, you know, I got this dirt on you. Are you ready to work? I'm gonna pay you good. But no, they went and put a gun on her. I don't think they even had to do that. But it is what it is. Now we see Vic and Gloria. And Vic is telling Gloria about the family dinner and stuff. And he's getting ready to kiss her. And the Serbs out of nowhere come through, you know, in a drive-by shooting. And they start busting. And we see Gloria grab Vic's gun and she's busting back at him. Damn, who knew Gloria had it in her, man? She wasn't playing. She was busting back at these Serbs. Now, at first, I really thought it was Walter driving by shooting at Gloria and Vic to send a message or whatever. But it turns out it wasn't Walter. Now, we see Diamond go to his diner and he meets this woman named Adrian and she's sitting in his spot or whatever but then they get to talking and they hit it off and then we see these two end up sleeping together you know they have a nice little romantic scene or whatever but it turns out Adrian is a reporter who's writing about Diamond so yeah she might be a problem now we see Lauren take them to her lab she has no choice because she's at gunpoint and she's being forced to manufacture this Dahlia of course, she doesn't really want to do it, but she doesn't have a choice. They're going to pay her good, so it's going to be worth it for her. Now we see Mrs. Soto. She picks up the Dahlia, and she tries it back at the shop. And man, she was high as hell. You know, she had the same effect that Tommy did when he fell on his car, and it seemed like she was all in. She's going to be copping that shit ASAP. Now, Reggie was blowing up Claudia. She didn't answer any calls, and he was pissed off, man. He decided to follow her. You know, he confronts her and Claudia said, man, I've been busy. He was pissed off, seemed like he was tweaking or whatever. He demanded his drugs and he choked her up and everything. And then she sliced his eye with her ring. And then she snatched his gun and shot him in the other eye. And then we see Tommy 
helped her bury the body. So Tommy helped her bury two bodies now. Claudia is becoming a killer. Don't mess with Claudia. Now, Walter walks into this Serbian restaurant and he kills Murkovic's lieutenants. He was leaving a message. He wasn't playing around, man. He left the waitress alive. She was supposed to go back and give the message. And I guess this is going to start a war now between the Flins and the Serbs. And it's not going to end good. But that's the end of the episode. Walter really thought he was badass walking out with his shades and stuff. I'm weak, man. He really had on the shades. But this was a good episode. I enjoyed it. What did you guys think of this one? Comment your thoughts down below. Keep supporting your boy. And I'll be continuing to bring y'all Power Book 4 Force content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And smash the notification bell so you can never miss a video. If you guys want to donate to the channel, I got links below to the PayPal and Cash App accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.